With over 1,500 different pickaxes in Fortnite, there are some pickaxes that bots use and there are some pickaxes that only tryhard players are going to use. But in this video, guys, I'm going to show you the 27 pickaxes that only tryhards own. This video is only going to include some of the best of the best pickaxes and of course, some of the rarest pickaxes as well that you guys have never heard of before. So make sure you watch all the way through and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel as well. But let's get straight into it, guys, and starting us off we have the Harley Hitter. Now, this is definitely a pickaxe that all the tryhard players do own, but I feel like there are definitely some casuals out there as well that have been using this. I absolutely love this though. I think it is such an amazing pickaxe and for only 800 V-Bucks, it is definitely worth it. The only thing that really could have made this pickaxe better was if Fortnite added in some more additional styles. We got Rebirth Harley Quinn added to the game and this would have been a perfect time for Fortnite to add a second style for this, but unfortunately, they just kept it as the one style, which really doesn't make this as good as it could have been. Still though, for a collab pickaxe to really be known as a tryhard pickaxe is really, really good. Usually a lot of these collab pickaxes never really stay popular or tryhard for too long. So the Harley hitter is definitely one of the best in the game. And that is exactly why. Let's move forward though, guys, to our next pickaxe. And this is the Love Lawn. This is definitely a pickaxe that only tryhard players do own. It sets you back around $4, which is actually really cheap for a pickaxe this well-designed. But the reason that so many people absolutely love this is because it looks so similar to the Axe of Champions, and that is the pickaxe that is only given out to the FNCS winners. You literally have to be one of the best players in the world in order to get that pickaxe, which is so insane. So if you really aren't one of the best players of all time, then the Love Lawn is going to be a much better option because this costs only $4 dollars and you don't have to be an absolute sweat at Fortnite. I still really love this though. You probably don't see too many casual players using it. If you are a casual player and still using this, then make sure that you do let me know in the comments down below. The next pickaxe is a little bit more rare and unrated in the community and this is the Gold Digger. The Gold Digger is an 800 V-Buck pickaxe that has been in Fortnite for such a long time, but this is honestly one of the first golden pickaxes that we had in the game. We now have so many different golden pickaxes in Fortnite, so there are a bunch to choose from, but if you were playing Fortnite back during chapter one, you'll realize how good this pickaxe actually was because it was the first ever golden pickaxe that we had. There obviously weren't too many golden skins to pair with this though, because we really only started seeing golden skins being added during chapter two, season two, but still, this is a really good pickaxe that not enough people have been using. I love the way this looks. It is such an OG pickaxe as well, and that just makes it even better, but let's move on to our next pickaxe, and this is also an OG pickaxe because we have the candy axe. Yes, guys, the candy axe has to be a pickaxe that only tryhard players do own. It is also one of the most expensive item shop pickaxes of all time because this actually sets you back 1,500 V-Bucks. We honestly haven't seen a pickaxe being this expensive for such a long time. I think it is so insane that Fortnite even added a pickaxe this expensive in the first place. And the worst thing about it is that there is only one style for this. If they actually manage to add brand new styles for this every single year and keep it at only the one price, then it would make a lot more sense. But this has been in the game since the very beginning, and we have never seen it end itself for this, so I don't really understand why this is so expensive. A few seasons later, though, we actually got the Merry Mint added to the game, which is sort of a second style of the Candy Axe, but Fortnite also handled this pickaxe in a really bad way, because this was only available to buy if you actually went out to a store and bought it in person. You had to go out and buy a code for this, which I think was a big waste. It really would have been a lot better if Fortnite added the Merry Mint as a second style of the Candy Axe and just kept it at one price. But the fact that you had to go out to a store and buy this for around five to $20 just made it so much more complex for people to buy this and definitely made it a lot more expensive as well. This was also really only available in a few countries and was really only available for one month. So if you guys didn't buy this during that one month period, then you've never had the opportunity to get it again. That is just so insane. I feel like Fortnite could have definitely handled this a lot better and this would have easily been one of the best pickaxes in the game if it was a edit style for the candy axe. That's just my opinion though. I think this could have been a lot better, but we're going to have to wait and see what Fortnite does with these pickaxes in the future. And in the meantime, one tryhard pickaxe that has been added to the game quite recently is going to be the Yennefer's Megascope. This is definitely a pickaxe that only tryhard players have been using. It is one of my favorite pickaxes as well, just because it looks so, so clean. And it is a collab pickaxe in Fortnite as well. As I've already 
already talked about, I feel like the collab pickaxes are so underrated. We really don't see too many of them staying popular for that long, but the Yennefer's Megascope is one of my absolute favorites, and we do also see quite a few tryhard players using this as well. It is really detailed, which again just makes this even better. I'm a huge fan of some of the most detailed pickaxes in the game, but obviously if you do prefer the more simplistic styled pickaxes, then keep watching because we're going to be including some of them very, very soon. Moving on though, guys, we are actually including a battle pass pickaxe and this is the electrostatic impactor we really don't see too many battle pass pickaxes being known as tryhard pickaxes as well but this is a little bit of a different pickaxe i really like this a lot i think the electrostatic impactor is quite a clean pickaxe and it's definitely underrated in the fortnite community this was extremely popular when it first got added to the game but similar to a lot of other battle pass pickaxes and skins for that matter they don't really stay popular for too long and usually when a new season comes out all of the old items that were popular just stop being popular straight away and people start resorting to use some of the newest items in the game which i think is completely understandable i still think this is a really good pickaxe though and the only people that i ever see using this are some of the more tryhard players in the game let's move forward though guys to the number 20 position and we have the slaughter demon this again is also one of the newest pickaxes in the game it is also a really simplistic designed pickaxe and is one of the smallest pickaxes in the game right now which is why i think this is so tryhard usually a lot of pros and streamers want to use two types of pickaxes pickaxes that are very simplistic because they aren't too detailed and don't take up too much space on the screen and extremely small pickaxes as well just because they take up less of the screen allowing them to focus more on the game you'll never really see tryhard players using some of the bigger and bulkier pickaxes but honestly i think the slaughter demon fits both of these categories firstly it is really small it doesn't take up too much of the screen and is one of the smallest pickaxes that we do have in the game and it is also quite simplistic it really only has two colors to it and is very very unique it does have that anime grading to it which might turn a few people off from actually using this but if you are a pro or a streamer then i think this slaughter demon is a really good pickaxe to use in the more competitive game modes that takes us guys to the number 19 position though and we have the dark axe what is really cool about the dark axe is that this is actually a default pickaxe reskinned and added back in the dark reflections bundle some people hate this but back during chapter one i thought this was a really good idea the default pickaxe quickly became very very try hard in fortnite because of tfu which is one of the more interesting cosmetic things i think we have ever seen in fortnite but when they added the dark axe to the game i actually thought this is a really good idea and loved the way that it looked it fitted in perfectly with all of the dark themed skins but we haven't really had too many other dark themed skins added to the game since chapter one and chapter two and the same goes for the pickaxes but I could definitely improve upon the dark and shadow rarity but i don't really think they're going to do that anytime soon and until then we are stuck with one of the more underrated pickaxes in the game which is the dark axe one pickaxe that definitely isn't underrated today though and owned by all of the tryhards still playing fortnite is the trusty number two this is definitely a pickaxe that only tryhard players have been using it is easily one of the best pickaxes of all time and this was out of back during one of the first ever battle passes that we had as well you could pick this up for only 900 150 V bucks. It was the pickaxe designed for the Reaper skin or the unofficial John Wick collab skin, which was also really, really cool. I love the way this looks. I think if Fortnite added this to the item shop today, it would still be one of the more popular pickaxes in the game as well, which just shows you that this isn't popular just because it is OG, but it is also popular and tryhard because of how well it is designed. I also think it's really funny that Fortnite added in an unofficial John Wick skin to the game. That is just so, so funny. And obviously, this was much, much earlier earlier on in Fortnite when they had never really done any collabs before so this was a really funny idea back during chapter one and they absolutely nailed it we do see a bunch of og players coming back to the game though to play in the zero building game mode and a few of these are using the trusty number two another pickaxe that was added to the game around the same time as this though has to be the studded axe this is an 800 v buck pickaxe in Fortnite that was added to the game during chapter one season eight what is really unique about the studded axe though is that this is no as one of the most tryhard pickaxes in the history of Fortnite, and this isn't because of the design or the shape of this pickaxe. This pickaxe is really only tryhard and as sweaty as it is right now because.
because this is known as one of the quietest pickaxes in the history of Fortnite. Yes, guys, this literally makes no sound when you swing it, which is just so insane to think about. I feel like we have never really seen a pickaxe like this before. There are some other pickaxes that are very similar in design to this, but a lot of pickaxes that are being added to Fortnite today have a bunch of sound and can actually be quite loud. So seeing a pickaxe being this tryhard and the fact that it is only really tryhard because it is so quiet is just so insane to me. That is probably why you won't see too many casual players using it, but whenever you go to watch a pro or a streamer playing in some tournaments, they are always going to be using the studded axe. Another pickaxe that is actually quite similar to this though is going to be the Vision. Now it doesn't look similar at all, it has a completely different design to it and a different color theme as well, but what is very similar about the Vision to the studded axe is they were added to the game around the same time, and the Vision is also one of the more silent pickaxes that we do have. I'm a huge fan of the design for this pickaxe, so I think it is absolutely incredible and one of the more underrated pickaxes that we do have in the game. There have been so many amazing pickaxes added to the game over the last few seasons, so it does make sense that people don't really want to use one of the more OG and older pickaxes that we have, and I completely understand that because I change around my pickaxes every single day and always try to buy some of the newest ones as well. But if you are an OG and a sweat and still playing some tournaments and want to use a pickaxe that is really quite simplistic and quite silent as well, then you cannot go wrong with using something like the Vision. Even though this video is designed for people that are really only using try-hard items, I feel like this is also a really good pickaxe for people that are a little bit of a meme or a casual player as well. It fits all different types of playstyles, which just makes this even better. Another pickaxe that does this as well, though, is going to be the Cold Snap. Now, the Cold Snap is one of the more interesting pickaxes on this list, and it has made a little bit of a resurgence over the last few months. I feel like a lot of people completely forgot about this pickaxe and didn't even really know it existed until this was added to the game with clear Clix's Locker Bundle. Clix has such a major influence in the Fortnite community that whenever he includes an item in his very own Locker Bundle, it pretty much instantly becomes popular and tryhard, and that is exactly what we saw with the Cold Snap. I feel like this is always really known as a tryhard pickaxe, but we just never saw too many people actually using this. If more people had been using this in the past, then I wouldn't have been surprised by how tryhard this actually became, but since so many people have really only been using it since Clix added this to the game with his Locker Bundle, for that reason, I think this is a pickaxe that only tryhards have been using and pretty much all because of Clix's influence. Don't get me wrong though, I love the design of this. It actually reminds me a little bit of the Candy Axe, just a little bit better. And for right now, it has also been more tryhard. You can actually get this for quite a cheap price as well at only 1,200 V-Bucks, but a big axe that is going to cost you a little bit more is the Stella Axe. And when I say a little bit more, this did set you back a thousand dollars. I'm not talking about a thousand V-Bucks, I'm literally talking about a thousand dollars. Yes, guys, this is one of the most expensive pickaxes we're ever going to see. You had to buy a brand new Galaxy phone in order to get this pickaxe, which is just so insane. But if you have been using this, then you are definitely going to be known as a tryhard player. Regardless of the price though, this pickaxe was really well designed. It was one of the first ever Galaxy themed items that we had in the game. But back during chapter one, if you were using this, then you could really only be known as a tryhard player. I never really came across too many noobs that spent a thousand dollars on Fortnite just for a pickaxe. So I feel like a lot of people that ended up using this were either going to be pros or sweats. And of course, maybe content creators and streamers as well. And since you can and no longer get this item and it hasn't been available since the start of chapter 2, if you are still using this today, then you have easily been playing Fortnite for like the last 4 or 5 years, definitely making you an OG and also probably a sweat as well. But since there aren't really too many people using this pickaxe today, let's move on to a much more common pickaxe and this is the Icebreaker. Now similar to some of the other pickaxes we have already talked about, not only is this going to be a pickaxe designed for the tryhard players, but I feel like this also works really well for casual players too. This has been in Fortnite since chapter one, season one, and does only cost 500 V-Bucks. So not only has it been in the game longer than any other pickaxe that we do talk about on this list, but it is also a lot cheaper than some of the other pickaxes in the game, like the Candy Axe, and of course the Stellar Axe, but everything's cheaper 
than that, so I feel like it doesn't really count. The icebreaker is absolutely incredible, though. It is going to work with every single skin in your locker, and that is why I feel like this works for every single different type of playstyle in Fortnite. If you are a tryhard, then you can pair this with some of the more tryhard skins in the game, definitely making it a tryhard pickaxe. But if you are a casual player and using this with one of the more casual skins in the game, then you are really going to be known as a casual player and it will fit your combo perfectly. That is what I love about some of these Fortnite items. And even though I still consider this one of the more tryhard pickaxes in the game, there are definitely a few different playstyles that use this pickaxe today. There is another pickaxe that is pretty similar to this that is really reserved for the more tryhard players. And this is the driver. It is very similar because it costs the exact same at only 500 V bucks. It has a very similar design scheme to it. And even though the shape of this is a little bit different, I feel like the colors match up really, really well. The driver has just been a little bit more popular over the last few seasons. I feel like this is just a little bit more tryhard as well, but make sure to let me know which one is your favorite out of the two in the comments down below. If you had to pick between the driver and the icebreaker, I would honestly just go based on what you think looks better and what is going to fit more of your skins in your locker. Both of these are going to work with pretty much every single skin that you do own, so I feel like you can't really go wrong with either of these pickaxes, but you still might end up having to choose between the two, which is actually quite difficult to choose from. If you guys do end up saving some of your V-Bucks and want to buy a pickaxe that is a little bit more expensive, then the Gold Crow might actually be the perfect choice for you. This does set you back 1,200 V-Bucks, so it is a little bit more expensive than the Icebreaker and the Driver, but you actually get three pickaxes with this as well. You get the Gold Crow in the Shadow Pickaxe Bundle, which did come to the game with two other pickaxes, even though they are some of the more underrated pickaxes that we do see and no one really actually uses them, it is still really good to get three pickaxes for the price of one. I'm a huge fan of the Gold Crow. I've probably stopped using it as much over the last few months though, just because we have some other pickaxes that are very similar to this. And one of them is actually coming in at the number 10 position, and that is the Vault Guardian. The Vault Guardian is pretty much a direct copy of the Gold Crow. It looks absolutely identical, but with just a few small color changes. The swinging animation is the exact same. The overall design of it is the exact same, and it is still a very, very good pickaxe. It really only the tryhard players do end up using. The other really cool thing about the Vault Guardian is you could actually unlock this for free. You could also get this if you bought V-Bucks and paid for this pickaxe, but if you were an absolute grinder of Fortnite back during the start of Chapter 4, then you could actually get this pickaxe for free. That is what I love about some of these small little updates of Fortnite do where you can unlock items in the game for free. It really definitely helps out with the popularity of these items and has made the Vault Guardian as good as it is today. Another pickaxe that you could actually unlock for free was the crowbar and this was the first crowbar style pickaxe that we did have in the game since we talked about the gold crow and the vault guardian we may as well mention the crowbar as well this was added back to the game during chapter one season five this is actually part of the first ever heist game mode that we did see in fortnite and again you could unlock this for free all you had to do was just complete some challenges as i just mentioned i loved all of the free items that fortnite give out but the one different thing about the crowbar to a lot of these other items is that this has never actually returned to the game since then. What we have seen over the last few seasons though is when Fortnite adds an item to the game for free, they usually add it as a paid item a few weeks or a few months later. We saw this with the Vault Guardian during Chapter 4 Season 1. You could unlock this for free, but also buy it a few seasons later. And now it features in the store quite often where you can buy this, but the Crowbar never had this option. It was only given out as a reward item during Chapter 1 Season 5, and we haven't actually seen it since, which is just so insane. I feel like this is actually quite rare in Fortnite today though, because it never features in the item shop. So if you are looking to buy a new pickaxe on this list, then the Hot Dogger is actually one that I recommend. This again is a pickaxe that I really only ever see tryhard players using. I love the way this looks. I think it is a really interesting pickaxe. Even though this is a collab pickaxe, I feel like it should be a lot more popular in Fortnite today. It doesn't feature in the store that often, but unlike the crowbar, at least it actually features in the store. It has a custom animation to it as well. It is one of the smallest and more simplistic pickaxes in the game too, which means it's going to not only work with all of your favorite skins, but also make you guys stand out quite a bit. That is what I love about this. I know a lot of you guys might actually hate this because it is a collab pickaxe, but I've been using this over the last few seasons, and I can tell you right now, this is easily one of my favorite collab pickaxes they have ever added to the game. 
Let's move on though to a pickaxe that is actually quite new as well, and this is the Scully Scepter. The Scully Scepter is a remake of the Star Wand, but Fortnite decided to add this to the game as a separate pickaxe, which was quite strange to me. You could actually get this for 500 V-Bucks though, making it one of the cheapest pickaxes in the game, and that is what I really like about this. Fortnite could have easily added this to the game as an 800 V-Buck or a 1,200 V-Buck pickaxe, so by making it quite cheap, I feel like a lot more people have actually ended up buying it. And since the Star Wand has been one of the most popular pickaxes in the history of the game. It's just really cool to see Fortnite adding in a second edit style, but they always knew that this was going to become extremely popular because it was basically a remake of their most popular and famous pickaxe. Outside of that though, I'm still a big fan of this pickaxe. It does remind me a little bit of the vision in the way where this is going to work with all of your favorite skins, but even if you are a more casual player, you are still going to absolutely love this, and if you are a tryhard player, then you're going to love this as well. There are just so many amazing things about this pickaxe, so hopefully if you guys don't already own this, you can actually pick it up in the future. One pickaxe that you will be able to buy in the future though is going to be Catwoman's Grappling Claw. This is another collab pickaxe that has been in Fortnite for quite a while. We actually saw this being added back to the game during Chapter 2, and as soon as I saw this being leaked in the files, I knew straight away that this is going to be one of the more popular and tryhard pickaxes that we do see, but honestly, this actually wasn't really as popular as it should have been. It was so underrated when it first got added, hardly anyone actually ended up buying this, and I feel like that is why we don't see too many people using it today. It really took a few seasons for Fortnite pros and streamers to start buying this and to start picking it up, but if you have been watching my videos for a while, you will know how good this actually is and how much I love this pickaxe. I think it is really, really good. It's going to work with all of your favorite skins as well, which is the best part about it. Let's move forward though, guys, to another collab pickaxe and this is Leon's Combat Knife. Yes guys, Leon's Combat Knife has to be one of the most tryhard pickaxes in the game today and that is for one very good reason, because it's so, so small. This is the smallest pickaxe that we see in Fortnite right now. It literally takes up nothing on your screen and I think it's impossible for Fortnite to make a pickaxe even smaller than this. Another really good thing about it was that this only cost 500 V-Bucks, so it was also extremely cheap for a crossover pickaxe. A lot of these crossover over pickaxes end up being quite expensive, so the fact that you got one of the smallest pickaxes in the game for such a cheap price just makes it even better and is what I absolutely love about this. We obviously don't know how often this is going to reappear in the store though, it is really only featured in the store two or three times, so it honestly might never be added back to the game. Another pickaxe that is never going to be added back though is the Raider's Revenge, and even though this isn't really known as a tryhard only pickaxe, there is actually a really good reason as to why I think this is a tryhards only pickaxe. Because you had to buy this pickaxe back during chapter one, season one, we only ever see OG players using this. You will never see someone that has just started to play Fortnite using this pickaxe because it's literally impossible for them to buy it. I love the way this looks though, and more often than not, if you have been using this pickaxe lately during chapter four, season four, then you probably have been playing Fortnite from the very beginning back during chapter one, season one. That is what I think makes this such such a tryhard pickaxe, but obviously you might end up seeing some noobs using this as well that haven't played Fortnite since chapter one and are just coming back to try out the zero building game mode. So even though there are going to be some bots using this pickaxe, there are definitely going to be more tryhards using it as well, which just makes this pickaxe as good as it actually is. Let's move forward though guys to the number three position and we have the Leviathan Axe. For a crossover pickaxe, this definitely has to be the best. It did set you back a thousand V-Bucks, so it was quite expensive compared to some of the other pickaxes we have already talked about. But what really makes this so unique is that this has a custom animation. It is also reactive as well, where the more you swing it, the more frozen this actually gets. And it is so, so detailed. We never really see collab pickaxes staying popular or try hard for too long. We've already mentioned a bunch of them, but the Leviathan Axe is the exception to the rule here. It has only featured in the store once though, which really does suck. And it basically means if you didn't buy this back during chapter two, season five, when it first got added, you just haven't had the opportunity to buy it again. I'm sure a lot of you would though, because this is easily one of the best pickaxes they have ever added to the game and definitely one of the more tryhard ones as well. But let's move forward though guys to the number two position and we had to mention the Star Wand. We already talked about the Scully Scepter, which is basically a reskin of the Star Wand, but I don't think anything is ever going to be better than the original pickaxe. This has been in the game since chapter one, season eight. It does set back 800 V-Bucks, which 
I think is quite a good price-free pickaxe, this well-designed. I'm just more surprised that Fortnite hasn't added additional edit styles for this pickaxe. Usually when Fortnite starts seeing a skin or a pickaxe become quite popular or try hard, they always add in additional styles for it. And that is really what I thought they were going to do with a pickaxe like this. But we are sitting here like three or four years later from this actually being added to the game with no additional styles and only one remake of this, which was the Scully Scepter. It would have been a lot cooler to see some additional styles for this being added. I would love to see a Halloween style of this or even a Christmas style of this pickaxe being added. So hopefully that can happen over the next few months. But unfortunately, it isn't good enough to be the most tryhard pickaxe in the game. And that is reserved for the Axe of Champions. This is the pickaxe given out to the best of the best Fortnite players. You literally have to win an FNCS tournament in order to get this pickaxe. So unless you are literally the best player in the world, chances are you aren't going to own this pickaxe. I mean, I don't really need to talk about it too much anymore. Whenever Fortnite adds in a pickaxe, it is literally only reserved for the best of the best players. There are only going to be 30 or 40 people in the world that are actually using this. I do love the way this looks though. We actually have two different acts of champions now in Fortnite. Both of them are really, really clean, but the second one just has to be a little bit better. But there you guys go. That is my list talking about 27 Fortnite pickaxes only tryhards own. Make sure to let me know what pickaxe you have been using in the comments down below and also which one is your favorite as well. But before we end off this video, just make sure to click on the video on your screen now. Yeah, goodbye.